Hey y'all, the name is Impa Kasung and I am a light heavyweight in the PFL. Uh, you can check me out on my OnlyFans handle, Impa K5. I wanted to be active. I wanted to be in an organization that I get an opportunity to earn my way up. You know, being in other organizations, you definitely earn your way up, and I don't want to ever slide on anybody, but I love the the system and the format that PFL offers. I was out of um out of a major organization for a while, you know, recently found the UFC. And I was in like in like the regional C and looking to fight, you know, back at the elite level. And I wanted a challenge. So PFL provided that. I fought as low as 170. I mostly fought at 185 and I'm a 205er. And I wanted to fight the best of the best anywhere that I could and stay extremely active throughout the year. And this year I've been blessed. This will be my fifth fight this year. And PFL was like, okay, fine. Hey, find the Challenger Series, which I did before the season started. And I wanted to really showcase like what I can do. And PFL had that, you know, you, you finish your fights, you show up, you finish faster than somebody else. It's not a popularity contest technically. It's not, I have to talk crap to anybody or put anybody down. It's, hey, show up, do the job, dominate, and you earn your way to the next fight. And I love that. I first started fighting, I had six fights in my first six months. So they, it, it definitely fits me. I like that challenge, like being on the warpath. That's all I need. I'm not trying to be the guy jumping over the stands, yelling at people, whatever. I just I just love to fight, go home, ride my motorcycle, chill with my family and the people I love. And, and that's it. That honesty, you can grow as a fighter. And I can and I can really show what I can, showcase what I can do. That's, that's what I like about it. And I think that's what's helped me grow because it took away like the fuss out of it all. I always tell people, do you want to be this person who's entertaining as a fighter? I'm like, man, like the way I fight is going to be entertaining. Just let me go do it. I don't want to do all these extra things that kind of can tarnish my name, right? Or my family's name, just to be a popular person. I graduated college and I was debating if I wanted to go to the military or get my CPA, MBA do that, you know, become like a full-time accountant. That was the track I was on. And then I was always obsessed with like special operations units and things like that. And you know, I asked them maybe get become an officer and then if I could become a SEAL or a pararescue, I wanted to serve and just make a career out of that. If I was gonna do accounting, I figured, okay, maybe I'll move to London, do some underground bare knuckle fighting, but I had no idea what I was gonna do, like how like what that direction would take me. But when I left accounting, and chose to fight it's affirmation and it's like that the faith paid off me going after my dreams paid off i credit the resolve to my parents you know they've built their dreams they come from congo and central africa and they never made an excuse and um, the faith i'm a christian right and i just love people unconditionally like a, whether whatever anybody else's faith or views are i don't hate them for it i just that's what's helped me my parents coming from another country to the united states like building the american dream is true, right? And it, it's something that like all their hard work and sacrifice from, you know, not having so much as a kid then losing so much as a kid and growing up and then staying at the gym even after I was cut by the UFC and sleeping in my car. I kind of look at it like, man, like having that faith paid off and like, it's not like a woe is me story. It's just like, okay, like this is my story. This is my time. This is something I get to own. Oh, five months, I want to say. Yeah, I had a really good job. Um, doing executive protection work, right, in between. And uh, building my own business to training clients, but I had to like, kind of pull back off of that. So I was getting that resource and money started running out, staying in the parking lot of the gym. And then one day my our head coach, Henry, head trainer, he's like, are you sleeping in your car? Security said something about it. I'm like, what? And uh, he was nice enough that my teammate, Marquez, let me stay on his couch for a while and just kind of get things back together before I moved to this farm. Like I would wake up, go train, hit the bag, be like 6 a.m. because the gym would open at six. So I didn't want anybody to know because like I didn't want like just like a handout or anything like that. I was fine. Like I was like, hey, I'm gonna make this dream happen. I believe I'll be champion one day. It's just a matter of time until I get a fight and then get back on my feet and get rolling. Dude, I don't know what you're going through and why you're watching, you know, my videos or watching anything or creating stuff, but like everybody goes through something. And just because you're going through something right now doesn't mean it's over. Just because you're going through something right now doesn't mean you're not meant to be great. And even if you're, if you're the one who messed it up and just blew up everything and you got to reset, or it wasn't your fault, you're in a weird situation, regardless, you can still be in a challenge or a struggle. You're not defined by your mistakes and where you fell short in life, right? Y'all all see me get knocked out in front of the whole world. And if I stopped then, I wouldn't be able to have this conversation with you now. So stay on your path. Know you're unconditionally loved. Right? I say that after every fight.